So we are currently in the Galactic Era Season 3. And I feel like now is probably like a good time to make some predictions on what the next era could be. So I've been looking through some of the era sagas and some of the monster laws. And I feel like the way the Galactic Era is going in is going to be that someone or some monsters are going to somehow close the portal of abominations. Or possibly even like blow it up. Which could cause like a black hole which is going to suck all the monsters into a different dimension. Or to a different place in time. Because in the Galactic Era announcement they say is this the end of the universe of Monster Legends as we know it? Also, we do have a decent amount of monsters that know like time stop or have something to do with like time travel. We have Parabot, Ravenbot, and Chronobot that know time stop. Also, they all have clocks on them and all of them have the time set to like 4 o'clock. Not sure if that means anything or not. Also, in Chronobite's description, whenever Chronobite takes a bite, he can send either himself or the enemy forward or backwards in time. For Psychaos, he was able to travel to the beginning of time, where he used his mind control powers to conquer early civilizations and turn them into mindless slaves or like mindless zombies. So here's why I think how they're going to transition to the new era and what the new era could be. The people of Petra and Electra will try to blow up the portal of the abominations. The portal gets destroyed, but a gigantic black hole opens up and starts sucking everything around it. And all the monsters get sucked in and get transported back in time into like a medieval fantasy like era. And you're probably wondering, why the medieval era? Well, it's because in this era, we've been getting a lot of monsters that are kind of related to the medieval era. And during the Blossom era, we got a lot of monsters that were from space, and we got a few abomination monsters as well. Also, another detail I want to point out is that during the Blossom era, we had two monsters that had abomination hater, Sumitex and, and Enhancer, which were both fugitive killers. And in the Galactic era, there's a leak of a monster called Metaragon, who was a dragon slayer, and during the previous era, we had a fugitive killer that had in the description that they were also a dragon slayer. Also, remember the leaks are only leaks and not 100% confirmed, which hints that the next era could be like a Dungeons and Dragons slash like medieval era. And for the monsters that are somewhat related to medieval times, Goliathus looks like a Scottish warrior from like back in the day. Empress Luthien, because kings and queens usually live in like a castle in medieval times. Drakebite and Metaragon are both dragon slayers. In Slow Thunder's description, or like the social point help page for him, it says he goes on expeditions to ancient ruins with other members of the Adventurer's Guild. And in some fantasy shows, they usually have an Adventurer's Guild. For Shell Lion, I'm pretty sure Shell and Monks shop as well, I think, in medieval times. And for Brother Tiberius, sometimes you see like religious cults or something. So yeah, that's why I think that we're probably going to like a medieval like era. Because it does make sense from all the monsters we've gone so far. But the only thing I'm not sure of is how Social Point has gone like transition to the medieval era. Also, I did have other ideas on what era it could be, like, like a nuclear fallout era, or like a lost civilization era, or like a new world era. 